Okay, so we go to this measure speed of sound using some audio software called Audacity, a uh, piece of piping, and a click. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is record the sound of one click, and then afterwards, we'll show you that. Okay, so here is the audio file that Audacity has recorded for just a single click. And let's have a little hear of that. Okay, and I'm just going to zoom right in so you can see the <coughs> what the actual click looks like on the waveform. Okay, and if you just look at this little bit here, this is like the rub between your finger and thumb, just as you you're drawing your middle finger down across your hand to slap into your uh, palm, I suppose. And then just after, you get a quite a sharp click. That's the slap of your skin vibrating, smacking into the air, and producing that sound all together. And if we zoom right in, you can clearly see that there's really one peak, and it just drops off. Now, on this, uh, we can see across the top here, in seconds, 0.835 seconds, 0.840 seconds, um, and so on. So this is just the time, and that's the nice thing about this, it allows us to time the time between one click and another. Okay, now let's try recording the sound of a click that has traveled down the street Bounce off this and come back. So we should catch both. We should catch the incoming click and the reflected click. Okay, so let's continue this recording. Okay, so I've got a few, we should be safe. Clicks. Now let's have a look at the click and reflected. Okay, so, let's zoom out a bit. So if you look at it, this is what it looks like to start with. And on first hearing, nothing special. I, don't, I think most times people hear this for the first time, they don't really notice that there's two noises there. But if we play that again, it's so fast you can barely catch it. But there are two. There are two clicks. There's the click that was initially done, and there was the reflected click. So this is the first click, or this is the click that I made, and this is what got reflected. Do it again. Initial click, reflected click. So now we need to just see the time it took between each click to get an idea of um, how long the sound took to travel down the tube and back again. I take my first reading at 2.460 seconds, and the next reading, if I take it from like the middle, the same as before, it's basically, yeah, it's basically 2.475. Okay, so I have my two time readings now, and I'm, I'm sure you know, to calculate speed, you just do distance divided by time. Okay, so, as we've already discovered previously, we, um... We've found the uh, times between the incoming click and the reflected click, which came back. Um, if we want to find uh, the change in time, or how long it took for that to happen, we just need to do the uh, T2 minus T1, which gives us uh, 0 0.15, 0 0.015 seconds. Substituting this into the speed formula, uh, well, we have the distance. The, the pipe is 2.5 meters long, but remember the sound had to travel down the pipe and back again, so it's double that distance, 5 meters. So just subbing the numbers in for speed gives us 5 divided by 0 0.015, and that's 5 meters, and that's seconds. And uh, quickly doing out the calculator gets me 333.333 recurring, uh, so I'll just leave this 0.3 recurring meters per second, okay? Which is a pretty good estimate for the speed of sound. 
Uh, bear in mind that the speed of sound actually varies depending on where um, where you are in the world, what altitude you are, and what temperature the air is. Uh, so this is definitely well within the uh, acceptable uh, limits. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or any comments, please make them. Uh, and subscribe. Subscribe. And why not click on some adverts while you're at it as well. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.